Yes. Um, good evening. Please tell me about yourself. First of all, thank you, sir, for giving me this opportunity. My name is Ravi. I belong to Ambala. My native place, Ambala, is well known for manufacturing of scientific uh, and technological equipments. Coming to my ex uh, coming to my educational background, I did my schooling from SD Senior Secondary School, Ambala, and I secured 9.4 GPA both in 10th and 12th. Then I went to SD College, Ambala, and where I did my graduation in in computer application. And currently, I am pursuing my master's in computer application, specialization in cloud computing and DevOps from Chandigarh University. Throughout my weeks, I developed my decision making skills, critical analyzing analyzing skills, and apart from the academics, I always took participate. I always participated in extracurricular activities that have honed my team working skills and leadership quality. I am also a member of sports community of our department, and I also got rewarded for my ex exemplary performance in soft skill sessions, which shows my better uh, communication skills. And my hobbies include, sir, feeding the cows. Good. Now, what is the degree you are doing? Yes, sir, MCA. MCA. Good, good, good. Excellent. Yes, sir. Can you please tell us a few points about artificial intelligence and yes, sir. the way it is used in our day-to-day -day life? including banking yeah artificial intelligence is a term which we use in computer application basically it's a term by which we can make anything uh, like in internet of things uh, like if we are using so say, uh, like if we are using uh, anything by the use of internet and uh, banking also use artificial intelligence nowadays like uh, they use digital products. Uh, and if I specifically talk about our federal bank, federal bank use FADI, uh, digital uh, assistant, digital assistant by which we can uh, know about the federal bank websites, federal bank, what federal bank about us and, and that's things, sir. But the proper definition of artificial intelligence, you could not give me, no? for example, yes. Yes, like using some machine language or whatever it is to teach uh, uh, the like to behave like a human being given a situation it will be reacting in a way a human being will react I, I think you saw that definition there is a better definition online okay, okay sure. one minute one minute Artificial intelligence is the intelligence of machines or software as opposed to the intelligence of living beings, primarily of humans. It is a field of study in computer science that develops and studies intelligent machines. Such machines may be called artificial intelligence. Okay. So that is, you are teaching the machines to behave like a human being. So that is what you must be able to tell. Doesn't matter. Now, please tell me, um, about your family. Please tell us about your family. Uh, so my family consists of seven members. My father is a hardworking labor and uh, my mother is a homemaker. My eldest other works in a field investigation company for the banking that that company actually that company ties up with the bank for the loan verifications and my middle brother works in a company as a data analyst and both of my sisters are married that's your brother one of your brother is working for verification what is the yes, nature sir. of work he has to do and uh, uh, how is okay. he doing it okay okay uh, sir, actually, he works uh, for the loan verification company. That company ties up with uh, with various commercial banks like uh, AU Small Finance Bank, ICICI Bank. They have to do loan verification when someone apply for the loan. And my brother, my brother governs. Uh, my brother go that address and uh, verify that address and what they do. Like it's a kind of a verification that customer provide the information correct or not, and customer is living at that address or not. This kind of verifications, my brothers do, sir, for banks. Is he doing it with the knowledge of the proposed borrower? 
or without the knowledge of the proposed borrower? Uh, so, sir, actually, I didn't get your question. The question is, is your brother doing that intelligence work uh, with the knowledge of the borrower, would-be borrower, or uh, secretly? No, no, sir. It's not a secretly. Uh, first of all, he calls it the customer that we have to come at your address for the verification and customer also knows that there is a one process called verification and uh, after that my brothers go to that address and take some details uh, defined by the company norms and after that details he uh, submit that details to the company and and this is the work sir my work brother do excellent now please tell me which bank you are having account uh, sir, I have bank. Uh, I have account in Canada Bank, sir. Where is the headquarters of Canada Bank? Uh, sir, sorry, sir, I don't know right now. Bengaluru. Bengaluru. Okay, sir. It is advisable for you to know the names of twelve public sector banks. Yes, sir. I know all the names. Their, their headquarters. Okay, sir. And in the case of Canada Bank, you must know who is the first person also. Some Satya Narayana Raju, somebody. Okay, sir. Not only that, you should also know the details about HDFC, ICICA Bank, Access Bank, because these are leading banks apart from Federal Bank. Okay, sir. Good. Now, what is the difference between a public sector bank and a private sector bank? Okay. Uh, public sector bank is the bank which is uh, governed by the government government authorities means they have more in public sector bank government has the more stake than the private companies and the private sector banks uh, private sector banks are run by the private entities like individuals or the private organizations in india we have 12 public sector banks and we have 21 private sector banks and Very public sector sufficient no, because you should talk only little, not more. Jo okay, pucha hai, usko answer karke stop karke. Take a good. Okay, okay, sir. okay, sir. Now, can you tell me, you are doing some data analysis and finance, correct? No, sir. Um, computer application, cloud computing and DevOps. Ah, yes, sir. MC, MC, MC. Correct, yes, correct, correct. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Now, what is the nature of job you will be expected to do once you come as an officer in our bank? Okay. Uh, the nature of our job is uh, like, I should have the customer acquisition skills. I should be able to sir, provide better banking income enhancement and I should be able to meet my target and branch branch target as well. So this job is a uh, very customer centric and dynamic approach. Where should I able to lead the team in the near future? I should have the potential of a leadership quality and I should have a uh, learning attitude so that I can learn the new things uh, very efficiently. So I think all these things are the uh, nature of this job role, sir. Okay, good. Do you possess those skills? Um, please uh, tell me that you possess those skills. Yes, sir. Uh, during my academics, sir, as I mentioned, I was uh, I am the member of our sports community, and in that period, I organized two interdepartment cricket tournament, which shows my uh, event organizing skills, event management skills. I also captained our cricket team in intra department and inter department in the both which shows my leadership skills where i captain uh, 10 members 11 member teams and also sir i am a very fast learner and i always try to learn new things quickly for my job role and also and also i go to uh, how, also will go, you, I, how will you motivate your subordinates okay uh, sir like uh, I, first of all, I will tell them to remain calm and uh, I will motivate them according to their, I will try to find what are their uh, qualities. So I that can find that th this person is good in this thing and this person is good in thing, but, which I have done in my team members while I, while I, while I am captaining the cricket team. And after, find, after that, I assign the role for the same person according to their interest so that they can do better. 
and if someone is feeling demotivated i will guide them and i will acknowledge the little bit behavior that changes if they if they perform well where there is a little bit performance but i will acknowledge so that they can feel motivated and acknowledge and it will make them feel good so that they can do better in the future also sir mm -hmm. good supposing you come across a situation where uh, your manager is scolding you at the same time a customer is shouting at you for something which has not been done by your bank how will you react to this okay. uh, sir as in the given situation being the employee of the bank first of all i will try to remain calm and i will approach this problem very professionalism and i will talk with the customer and i will listen his point his or her point very attentively so can i can uh, defy so i can understand the root cause of the problem and i will acknowledge the point of point of view of our, of our customer so that he or she can also feel that i am here to help them it will also make them feel good and i in the whole situation i will keep my uh, approach as a solution oriented approach so i am not going to include in argument rather than i will provide a solution and after the solution is being provided i will make sure that i provide them uh, please please strength. tell me what are your strengths yeah sir my strengths include like leadership quality as i mentioned i captain my cricket team in the in the department and uh, my strengths include good communication skills as i got rewarded for the exemplary performance in soft skills session uh, organized by department of career and development of chandigarh university and also i am a team working player and team working player who know how to work in a team environment and i am self motivated i am always ready to learn new things i am also planning to learn some new certification for this job role in, in next one two days sir and this are the my job this and this are this all are my strengths which are which are very helpful for my career growth supposing i talk to your professor and ask okay. him what are the qualities our ravi should uh, try to improvise or in which areas should he improve what is the answer they will give uh, sir my professor will say you like sometimes he go very in details and that's and that cause him to uh, like sometimes i go in go in detail that cause me to do my things well uh, making my making me to do things lately sir looks like a uh, planning sometimes i go in the detail and my planning is not working according to my uh, code according to me so uh, and for the same i am working on that that's why i join our sports community sir so that i can improve my planning and event management all that all that kind of things sir good now supposing i ask you why we should not select you what are the reasons you will tell what are the reasons uh, on account of which bank should not select you uh, sir as in the I, given situation i don't I, i don't ask this for many others because you are a confident person i am asking this just to oh. but they have asked this question at least 10% times okay okay sir as uh, So, sir, I don't think any reason why you should not hire me because I am a person who is self-motivated, who is well required role, who is well required uh, quality of this job role. I am good in financial analysis, which is also a good good quality for this job role. I am team. I have leadership quality. I have team working quality. So, I don't think there is any reason you should not select me until and unless you don't want a person who is very good in communication skills, who is very good in financial skills. that can be the reason sir <laughs> no no the <laughs> last part of the sentence you can avoid okay sir okay you you tell about why you should you should why you want to say there are no reasons stop with that yes sir good what do you know by npa okay uh, sir npa stand for non performing assets and npa is like if our bank if our bank provide loans to someone uh, loans uh, advances to someone and that person is not able to 
repaid at loan or interest like for the specific time like for 90 days and that goes in an NPA that we know that this loan is not going to pay us any interest or any principal amount now and non-performing assets should not be more for the bank because it shows the uh, because it shows the health of our bank, it shows the growth of our bank. Good, good, and good. GNP... Next, next question. Do you know the financial details of our bank as on yes, 31st sir. December? Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Can you please uh, tell the... me what was the total business of the bank? Sir, 4.39 4. lakh crore. What was the total deposit? Uh, sir, 2.39 lakh crore. What was the total advances? Sir, 2 lakh crore. What was the net interest in net income? Uh, net net, 1, net 000... profit. Sorry, net profit. Net profit, sir. Yeah, yeah, sir. One thousand seven crore. What was the GNPA and NPA percentage? Okay, sir. GNPA is two point two nine and NPA is zero point six four percentage, sir. Yeah, good. Did you go through today's uh, uh, Federal Bank share price? Yes, sir. I just checked before the interview. It's like 152.70. Has it increased or decreased today? Sir, it decreased 0.85%. Not much, no? Yes, Not sir. Much. Not much. Good. Who is the MD and CEO of our bank? Uh, sir, in my research, I, uh, I, I found that CEO of uh, Shyam Srinivasan and now he's my, like my role model because I directly resonate with him uh, is, as he is also an engineering graduate. Later on, he did his MBA from IIT Calcutta, but he is also very fond of cricket. He says that Federal Bank is a uh, Rahul Dravid of banking sector and that things directly resonate myself with him, sir. Excellent. Now, after this is over, are you willing to be posted anywhere in India? Yes, sir. I'm ready to relocate anywhere in India as I'm a person who always try to interact with different cultures, people. So, rather will than... Your parents, things... Will your parents leave you to go? Yes, sir. I am also... Uh, right now, I'm I'm doing my master's in Chandigarh. So, I have to live in Chandigarh and uh, my parents don't have any issue regarding that, sir. Very good. Very nice. Yes, sir. Tell me about farmers, but just last question. Uh, sorry, sir. Actually, voice is farmers, not clear. Farmers protest. Okay. Uh, sir, farmer protest is a very... On, uh, farmer protest is go ongoing in our area, like, sir, in Chandigarh and uh, Haryana. I am facing also a lot of problems from uh, uh, for of that. Uh, uh, of course. Sir, farmer protest is a protest which is doing by the farmers community in Haryana. Basically, the farmers of Haryana and Punjab and the UP side are collecting and they protesting against the far, against the our government they have some demands like msp legalize the msp minimum spot price and also they have the demand that india government should withdraw from world trade world trade organization they are against the they are against but the you know amendment the, 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 what are the uh, negative points told about this former protest yes, sir, I, yeah, uh, as far as news is concerned Yes, sir. Uh, one, some of our great economists saying that if we legalize this uh, MSP, this can be a counterproductive. And same thing happened when uh, Congress party in the ruling was the ruling party in 2010. Same thing when says uh, same thing was uh, saying by the economist of that time also. So we can not legalize the whole process because this can be a counterproductive of our economic and this can make an imbalance for the economic growth, for the economic growth, so uh, government has to find a win-win situation. No, no, I, and a I, 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 I don't know what is the answer for this. Is there any other country where this uh, MSP system is being followed? I just want to ask some agriculture candidate. You may not know it. Uh, yes, you sir, just actually. find out. You just find it out later on today at 8.30 p.m. You can tell us. Oh, okay, sir, sure. Thank you. Best wishes. Ravi, you are a very bright candidate. No doubt about it. Okay, but sir, uh, sir. It, it all depends on luck, Baba. Koi koi okay, samay okay, par okay. Taklif. Taklif ka question de de te Abhi dekhi hamara Pondicherry University mein ek hi aadmi select hua hai, Saranya. 
but okay, other, said, yes. many other many others they could not get selected but of course oh. they for them the basic problem was english but your okay, case okay. that problem is not there so you go as a confident person go through newspaper and uh, yes, get to know various uh, con points they will ask simple okay. questions only best wishes okay okay sir sir uh, sir i have one question like i am planning to visit our federal bank branch so yeah. this can be yeah. yeah yeah because they do ask sometimes questions whether you have visited our branch so okay. you visit something which is nearer to your college now or something which is nearer to your home whatever yes, sir, i am planning to visit my home please go to the branch collect the pamphlets they are posting there find out how well orderly manner it has been maintained talk to the manager telling that you have been invited for the interview and um, uh, uh, just smile at him he will automatically tell you don't worry talk very nicely you will be selected okay. like that he will tell and listen to that stay there if possible during business hours to see how many people come and go otherwise go after business hours in the afternoon okay. but okay. not at the time of closure say 5 o'clock 4 o'clock mat jao 3 no, baje no, no, no. aisa mapi samay par jao yes sir yes sir Actually, or hoga to hoga to 11 12 o'clock 1 o'clock ka samay par visit karke dekh sakte oh, okay sure sir sure yeah that's what it is best wishes thank you sir you will do well no problem oh thank you sir thank you thank you bye bye